Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here. Um, and this is kind of off the subject, but I'd like to ask us of all of our witnesses, are you uh, taking part in the Affordable Care Act uh, change? Uh, Congressman, uh, like m most of the uh, employees at the Treasury, uh, I participate in uh, in the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan. Okay. But you, so you hadn't voluntary, uh, voluntarily got on the exchange because all the staff in here and the members here are required to be on the exchange and no, it's such a good deal? The, 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 the goal of the Affordable Care Act, obviously, is for employers to provide uh, coverage. Uh, federal employees have access to coverage with cost sharing between the federal government and the employee. Uh -huh. um, and uh, I participate in the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan. Uh, as as do most employees. Uh, well, we're all envious. We wish we could have stayed there too. Um, let's, I want to follow up a little bit on the VOCA rule. Uh, from 2006 to 2009, um, you were the lead at Citigroup's uh, alternative investment unit, correct? I was in the I ran operations. I not not the business practices. But you, you were in that group, proprietary trading, right? No, just to be clear, I was chief operating officer, so I was responsible for the kind of internal mechanics of the business. I was not uh, making investment decisions. Okay, but I mean, y'all were doing proprietary trading. The, the firm did, yes. Yeah. Would those people still have a job today? Well, you know, look, I, I, uh, I think I've spoken to my views uh, in my response to questions on the Volcker rule. Um, I think coming out of the financial crisis, it's incumbent on all of us to ask what was happening before 2008 that should be done differently. Um, I believe that this but is But you never thought you were, or, or Citigroup or anybody else was doing anything wrong. Uh, well, yeah, doing I think. A I mean, did you feel like y'all were uh, doing something that uh, was uh, sleazy or? or, or I, th I think going but forward, the challenge we have is to ask the questions, how do we take risk out of the financial system? How do we maintain strong, healthy financial institutions? How do we protect taxpayers from being exposed so, as they but were? While Citigroup was doing the proprietary trading, do you think they were weakening yeah. the uh, company or taking a big risk? Or I, I, I think that the, the challenge going forward is to look at what practices can we put in place to make sure we have visibility into financial institutions mm -hmm. to make sure that they're not taking on risks which they can't internally absorb themselves. And I think the Did you ever take any of the, um, did your group or city groups ever take on any of these things that they didn't feel they could manage? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, testifying today uh, on behalf of one firm or another. Oh, I, know. I think I've made clear uh, the positions that I've taken reflect my view and the view of the administration. And okay. um, it may not be consistent with views that are shared by people I may have worked with in the past. Sure. In November 26, so the Treasury uh, and the IRS published in the Federal Register proposed guidance uh, clearing fair and clarifying the range of acceptable political activities for tax-exempt social welfare organizations under the 501c4 uh, of the Internal Revenue Code. Um, will the same IRS personnel who targeted uh, the nonprofit conservative organizations be responsible for making the decision as to what is political and what is not political under the law? Uh, to be clear, Congressman, in the aftermath of what we all discovered was going on uh, in, that, in that program, all of the senior leadership in that area has been replaced. You know, we've had um, a significant um, new uh, leadership, uh, set of leadership changes put in. So in general, it's different. Well, who's going to be making the decision um, as the, to what the, is the political? The policy in there, to, to be clear, the there was an IG report. The IG report called on us to take a number of actions. One of the actions was to provide greater, greater clarity here. The notice that you're describing um, was not a final act. It was asking for comment to start oh, no. the conversation. I and I think we have some policy that we have to make. Um, and that policy is policy that's going to be made by policy officials. Uh, and we should do it in, in conversation. Well, do you think it's good to be uh, putting new rules in uh, while we're in the process of trying to investigate? Uh, well, I think it's important that we uh, we took all of the IG recommendations seriously and we've acted on each of them. This was one. 
Um, and while it's not final, it's a step in the direction of working through what the right. Uh, when, when do you think it will be finalized? You know, I, I actually would have to get back to you on the schedule. Uh, I don't. I don't know the exact schedule. Uh, this was the first step, so it, it's some. It's some space away from being final. I think this is an important subject, and there's a need for comment and and for us to hear uh, what the different views are. Thank you, sir. Time of the gentleman has expired. The chair now recognizes the gentleman.